Hi, I'm Jim Linnell with Tandy Leather. I'm going to be showing you how to make a wallet and I'll be going through each of the steps with each of the tools in enough detail so that you'll know how to get the best results out of your leather work. Now that we have all of our parts cut out, formed, shaped, got the creases on the edges, we now need to color them. And I'm going to use the same product we used to do the inlay die. I'm going to use the same medium brown water stain. That way our interior is going to match the, the dye that we uh, put in the background on our project as well. So I've got uh, some more of it here in our dish and uh, there's no real trick to this. Um, we're going to um, use a, a, a dauber, a wool dauber, and uh, I've got some just some paper, some craft paper here underneath my uh, project so that I can just uh, apply it and not have to worry about am I gonna get it on the table um, put a good coat on on it and most people would probably want to look at the inside and see if the inside of the these pockets is the same color as the outside so let's put it let's dye both sides of it and of course you want to dye these edges now I'm picking up this wet uh, dyed piece of leather and I'd be staining my fingers real good so that's why I went and put some uh, of these uh, plastic gloves on it helps a bit but once you have a, a coat on there just set that aside grab you another one we'll just get all of these pieces uh, stained up so that like I said the interior will match the exterior of, of our project and once that's dry, we will put a finish over the top of it as well. We'll we use that same uh, super sheen over the top so they have a nice glossy finish as well. Remember when you're doing this to, to get the edges as well. That's, that's real important. Want, don't want any light colored uh, edges showing um, on your finished project here. Notice I put the dye on with circular motions. Sometimes, and, and again, this is, is one of the things I do like about this dye. It is easy to get this water stain on fairly consistently, but sometimes if you put your dye on by just putting a lot of streaks on it like this, you get that kind of a pattern to come through in your dye results. So if you put your dye on with a circular motion like this, you'll end up with a, a lot more consistent color, uh, a consistent coverage with your color. On these pieces that you've formed after you've got the, the dye on it, make sure you let them dry all folded up again uh, so that they are in the general shape you want them in when you get ready to assemble this. And we'll fold this one back up and make sure that it dries like that. Here we have all of our pieces stained with the medium brown water stain and we need to put them aside and let them dry. It's usually best to let them dry overnight, as I mentioned earlier. Um, always let each one of these steps dry completely between each um, next finish or, or application that you put on it. So um, we'll let these dry and then we'll put a, a super sheen finish over the top of them before we do the final assembly. Now that we've given our wallet interior enough time for the dye to dry, it's time to put a finish on it. And again, we'll go back to that super sheen. It's a great finish for this. It'll give us a nice polished interior um, in our wallet. And again, we'll use this uh, high density sponge to do this. Um, here we just need a light coat um, on here. So um, we would uh, put this on and just uh, Go over it real quickly and give it a, a light coat and let those dry. Um, I guess we could put it on the other side as well just so that that'll dry with a little bit harder finish as well. It's, it's not necessary. We'll do it on this piece as well. I know folks sometimes have had problems with, with dye smearing and things like that, but I want you to notice that this there's no dye coming off on my sponge. And this is, you know, dried uh, uh, for a good uh, period of time here. And, and uh, that's just one of the great things about this water stain is it just, you just don't have those issues.
One other thing we can do if you want to add just one more little special touch to your wallet interior is while your le leather is still moist from the um, super sheen, you can take like this folding tool we used, something with a slick finish. This works pretty good, this, this um, bison horn uh, folder. And these edges, like on this pocket, the edges that will be exposed after this is assembled, um, you can rub over it with uh, a little bit of friction here and you can burnish it. You can get a, a nice polished finish on there. In fact, when this has dried a little bit, we'll actually put uh, some edge finish on there. So like on these, these pieces here, the pieces that would have these edges exposed on the interior of your wallet, we can give the, those a nice finish. This is the, in primarily the ones that we've run the, um, the creaser over. Uh, we'll give them a nice polished finish. I don't know if that shows up there, but it uh, it's just another step in making you uh, a more professional looking uh, finished wallet. We'll also be able to see the top edge, the bottom edge of this, so let's go ahead and, and do that as well. We have a divider too that will go in there, so let's, let's do that top edge that would be seen. Again, it, because this is a, a veg tan piece of leather, because it's moist, it's moist from the uh, super sheen, it'll slick up and polish up real nice. To give that one more extra touch to our wallet interior, I'm going to use some of this uh, edge flex, which is, uh, I'm using a clear uh, finish. I've got some poured in a, in a dish here. It's a, just a clear finish that we'll be putting on the uh, edge of our uh, polished edges there. And I'm going to use one of these mini daubers. They work real good uh, for retaining or, or keeping the, the uh, edge finish right on the edge rather than having it spill over. And what this will do is it'll give it a, a harder finish. It'll give it a little bit of a glossy finish. And uh, we'll just paint that on, let that dry. And, and like I said, it's one more of those little touches that um, we can give our project to uh, give it more of a professional look. You can see it gives it a, a bit of shine. And that, most of that shine will stay as that dries. We'll let that edge finish dry. And then we'll... Uh, assemble this and get it ready to go into our wallet. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure and check back often here at our blog and we'll show you more tips and ideas on how to get the most fun out of your leather work.